Hey YouTubers, this is Camera Brepper here. Today I'm going to be going through my, excuse me a minute, uh, my new hobby, like I said, uh, in my last video as well, and that is my, my lock picks. Um, and also going to obviously go through this as well. Um, I might demonstrate it on, on video, um, but bear with me, I am a total newbie at this. If any professional lock pickers are out there or anybody that has uh, that's practiced this skill please um, send me any good tips or any places where I can buy some um, more lock picks to add to my tools um, I got this off of Amazon uh, again very cheap uh, just because I wanted to see um, what it was like to do lock picking I suppose you can say uh, and to see how easy it is um, and I can safely say lock picking for the newbie and um, for the noob it can be quite difficult it can be hard and um, frustrating sometimes um, but it is fun I do enjoy once I do uh, crack a lock open it is um, it does put a smile on my face um, what I'm going to do is I will pan the camera down to show you these uh, but what I we'll do first is I'll show you this lock and um, this lock again I got off of Amazon I think uh, it is I think it was 11 pound and these are training locks uh, you can buy many different training locks and what it, the benefit is is that you can actually see inside of what the lock is doing okay um, again to a certain extent once you start be able to unpick uh, these um, my recommendation is don't cheat um, of course the first few attempts um, look what you're doing inside to see what you're you're doing and how the mechanism are working but also attempt to do it without looking as well um, because obviously locks don't have the ability to see um, so yes so I bought this as well to practice with I also um, was given a few locks off of my friend while I was at the event um, I had to give them back but those locks were pretty easy to open I think it took me about just under 10 minutes um, to open them most, most of them was three locks um, I think the first one took me about four minutes which was um, quite I was quite shocked about and very pleased in fact but quite shocked because this one took me I think the quickest I've done this in about 35 minutes but that's enough of me talking for this part. I'm gonna just gonna scroll the camera down so you can see the actual lock picks. Me again. And what's inside? So, what's inside? You may say. Right, the first it comes in two compartments. You got uh, one compartment here and one compartment here. So if I zoom it in a bit more so you can see what's going on. Okay. Now, uh, forgive me. I'm, as I said, I'm still learning how to lockpick and what each device are doing. So um, there's one device that I might need your help on, guys, if you can really help me. And it's this device here. So I get this out first, and so you can have a quick look at it. I'm presuming it's a tension bar. Um, I am presuming this, um, but please tell me otherwise. If I bring it closer to the camera so you can see, where is it? There it is. So you can see what it is. Um, it has two prongs there uh, and two prongs there. Uh, I haven't got a clue what it is, um, as I said, um, but please let me know for a comment below if anybody does know what they are. Um, like I said, I did get it on Amazon, and it's just a, like a starter, I suppose you can say. Um, I am looking to buy more, um, even better stuff, because I am enjoying it. This is the reason why I bought a cheap and cheerful sort of item first, so that I can a uh, find an interest of it, and before I go for the, you know, the most expensive gear. Uh, what it comes with, you have three tension bars. Again, this is one thing that I, I want to purchase is a tension bar, because the tension bar that you get, as you can see, if it gets back into focus, isn't the most uh, best tension bars. That I've seen on YouTube, um, and I heard you can make them out of windscreen wipers as well. But I'm going to look at buying some online. Um, 
The other tension bars that you get are these type of tension bars. Uh, they're the long ones that actually go into the lock. So if I show you, um, they actually feed right inside the lock itself. Um, so you can see that there. Um, to gain more control as far as I'm aware because whereas I've never done this on camera so please forgive me if it ends up skew -whiffed. but with it, whereas with these is that sometimes is that they struggle to find the lip on the I don't know what you call that but the lip on the front I got it so it sits on the top rather than sinks in what else you get with these? Again, you get your basic, okay, you get your basic lock picks. I found more success using, um, where are you? You got your, ah, there you are. Um, the diamond picks, oh, where's the camera? There it is. Get back into focus. Let's try and find the focus for you guys. Uh, you got the diamond pick, which is this one and the lock pick, uh, another pick there. Now these ones are for uh, specifically targeting each sort of pin inside the lock at a time, okay? Um, that is, that is, as much as I do know. Uh, you get other these types here. These are the, uh, the scrapers, so as you got the tension bar in, uh, if I can do it, I'd, I'd be warned, guys. I, um, I'd be quite amazed if I get this first time um, on camera. <laughs> but I'm just going to demonstrate um, what it does. So, if you get the lock pick, where's the camera again? Again, forgive me because I've never done this on camera. Um, if you get the lock pick, scrape it inside. The theory is, is you scrape it in and out, and it's supposed to get the Tell you what, if I really, do, I've got one pin already, but I'm not going to do it anyway, because I'm not. But yeah, so the idea is you scrape it in, push it out, and it's supposed to um, cause the pins. I heard one go then, cause the pins to find the place and unlock the lock itself. Um, so yeah, so that's what that is. Um, but as well as obviously you got the diamond picks, you got another one. Again, again, for any um, expert people out there, I like to know on certain ones which of these are, um, so they can, so you can give me a hand here, because again, I am new at this and I want to give them a go. So, uh, can you tell me what if I get it closer to the camera? This lock pick is called, and what's the use of it? Um, because it's got a double, it's got a diamond. Um, here and then it's got three diamonds at the top so I don't know what this is for uh, and the next one is this type of lock um, it's this got I, I call it I suppose it's got like speed bumps along the top so I haven't got a clue <laughs> and this one here as well um, so it comes with um, how many one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. It comes with twenty picks uh, and three tension bars. Um, again, these these are really really cheap. I think they're definitely were under twenty quid. Um, again, they're not, they're not the best things in the world these ones um, they probably wouldn't last that long to be honest because um, they, they they look pre pretty cheaply made and if I go on to pretty harder locks eventually um, I could see these breaking um, so I wouldn't recommend um, having these for a main set if you obviously you're a professional but for a beginner for me um, it was beneficial because a they were a cheap price and I don't want to fork out all that money only to not enjoy uh, the start of the hobby. Um, but I am looking to buy some more tension bars, some better tension bars, uh, and some more diamond picks, etc. etc. Um, but yes, this the 
just to recap, if anybody does know what that is, please tell me what that is. That's one thing I do want to know what that is, and um, that'd be magical. Once I've figured out how to do this quite quickly, I will show you on um, on camera. Uh, but other than that, um, I'll keep practicing and keep plugging away. Any tips or any advice that you can give me, um, that would be fantastic. Um, but other than that, what I do is I quickly show you what comes in it. Um, as you can see, um, oh, we can so you can see what actually we do it like that quickly. Sorry about this, guys. Just so you can see what each pick is, and um, because I'm not, again, I don't claim to be an expert in lock picking because I'm not. Um, I'm a total newbie at this. Um, so I'll keep putting the other way so you can see what's inside and then anybody out there can give me a, a shout out and sort of give me a hand and help um, but yeah and um, so we find the right angle so you can see it's not in the dark there we go so it comes with these lock picks here um, those sets uh, and then I'm do that here we go and those ones there okay so Again, at 20 quid, couldn't argue for a starter. Um, I will improve and I will um, get better and I will buy some new stuff. I probably still use this case uh, for my other new lock picks as well. It's not too bad. These are made by GOSO, GOSO, uh, GOSO, um, the trademark stamp. So yeah, GOSO uh, for 20 quid on Amazon, so I can't argue. Um, Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I urge anybody that's into survival and prepping to start lock picking because it's really important. Um, but I also urge people um, to think safe and uh, think with the law rather than against it as well. Because if you carry these outside, um, obviously you will get arrested uh, because these are means of breaking into people's houses as well, which is a very, very no-no. Um, so yes, um, until then, uh, please like and subscribe. This is Camera Prepper out.